my name is Herag Hergelian. I work uh, with my parents. We are at the Noah's Ark Art Gallery. We are based in Beirut, Lebanon. The gallery was founded actually by my father back in 1996. I went to Armenia and the situation of the Armenia was very bad. There was war, there was the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, the economic and the uh, political situation was very bad. What we mainly present works from the post-Soviet world, countries such as Armenia, Russia. I choose 25 talented artists and they make a book, this, this book. Here there, there are 25 artists and I take the exclusivity of that artist. My father and I work with the artists all the time. We're always in contact with them. Whenever we participate to an art fair, we take their opinions as well. We are representing two well-known and talented artists. One is Vahram. In the art of uh, post-Soviet painting artists, the absurdity is much more because the Soviet Union life was absurd, the collapse was absurd, and in the same time, now we are living in an absurd period. Uh, everywhere there are war, there are uh, natural disasters, there are economic, political big problems, and the life became absurd. Bahram painting is coming from the medieval ages, but uh, there is absurdity in his painting and uh, they, he modernized the surrealist movement. And the second is Euros. My art is, I, 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 I don't know if it's deliberately or I just the way I do it. It's nothing to do with Armenian or Russian or Asian. I paint human emotions which I think combines and connects everyone. So, but I have some symbols, which symbols just tell a story. If you know the symbols, then you can read my stories, like words. Euros, he is Kubis. He renewed the Kubis. He add the color, add the light, the movement, and in the same time, he add a uh, symbol. For example, pomegranates, I use also pomegranates, a symbol of fertility, and I paint also blue roses. Blue is a color of healing. Rose is a symbol of love. So blue rose becomes like healing through your love, the symbol of compassion. After the craziness of the civilization, you want to somewhere really peaceful and quiet to meditate. So for me to go lock my door and go in a studio and paint, it's almost like going to meditation. And they said, oh my God, your life, you must be perfect. You only paint love. I said, no. I make a choice. If life the day was pretty terrible, I make a choice to leave the does bad energy behind my studio. Art must appreciate the unalienable value of humankind and art must give us mental, spiritual and physical healing. And the mankind, especially now in all around the world, need that healing. Our job is family job. We are doing it together. And we are living as a family with art. Hopefully in the future I'll be continuing what my father started. <laughs>